what constitutes research for creative writing? When I'm asked that, I sometimes want to answer with things like uh, looking in other people's windows at night when I'm out for a run or uh, eavesdropping on other people's conversations. That is just paying attention, sort of acute attention to the world word connection. Um, but in fact, even the making of lyric poems requires real research. Um, for me as a lyric poet, um, some of the research I do, a lot of it is done in the dictionary, uh, a, tr a treasure trove of word histories. And um, I write essays and um, I also write articles and so forth and for, the, for those pieces and even for poems. I read biographies and um, I read uh, critical texts and I read other kinds of, I, do, I conduct other kinds of real research. But what, so what I've been doing is quite different for me. I've been doing it for a while, but it, my experience is writing and teaching as a poet, but I've had this story I really needed to um, get to. That's, it's a story of family, land, race, and the law, um, and trauma. Um, and, it, and it has involved, and, and it's, it's involved a lot of different kinds of research into um, race relations, history in the plains, um, treaty abrogations, um, uh, addiction, and, and uh, you know, time spent visiting prison, visiting addiction treatment centers, um, but also different kinds of, like I was saying, the, the Fayum portraits or the Bellini paintings, or there's Robert Frank's, some of his photographs that have come into the story too as sort of refracting elements, different ways of coming at my story. But it's essentially a story that's um, re recounting the loss of my brother, first to addiction and then prison and then death, and learning in the recounting, trying to understand what happened to him and to our family and realizing over time that there are all kinds of other losses that underlay the more uh, quite dramatic story that he lived. This is a poem about what we can do every day of our lives. Dawn Revisited. Imagine you wake up with a second chance. The blue jay hawks his pretty wares and the oak still stands spreading glorious shade. If you don't look back, the future never happens. How good to rise in sunlight in the prodigal smell of biscuits eggs and sausage on the grill. The whole sky is yours to write on, blown open to a blank page. Come on, shake a leg. You'll never know who's down there frying those eggs if you don't get up and see.